Hey guys, Andy here, and today I'm going to teach you how to automatically follow a subject with auto reframe in Adobe Premiere Pro. This tutorial was requested by Dan Newman on my recent auto reframe tutorial. So Dan, this one's for you. And so right now I have on the timeline just a little quick clip of Gary V at a conference. And as you can see here, he's moving around the stage and he's kind of far. So we do have a lot of room to play with here. So first thing you do, select your clip, go up to sequence then go to auto reframe sequence and I'll pick the uh, default just square. So we'll hit create and it'll create a whole new sequence in square for us. And so now that you have the square sequence all lined up, we'll go up to sequence, go to sequence settings, and then we'll change the frame size from square back to 16 by nine. So we'll change this to 1920. Now you'll notice because it tracks the subject, there's a lot of these pillar boxes and stuff that'll appear as he's moving across stage. The one way to combat this would be to just zoom in a whole bunch. So we'll zoom in about 200%. And I'll play it from the beginning. This talk as well, uh, I've been getting some context to the audience makeup. Uh, and so obviously a very entrepreneurial crowd. There's a lot going on. It seems like a good amount of you have some context for me, I'm sure some of you don't, but what I really wanna speak about is really just the current state of things, right? And it's just that easy. So yeah, that's how you can automatically follow a subject with auto reframe in Adobe Premiere Pro. If you like this tutorial, be sure to give it a like and subscribe for new tutorials. And if you have a question about Adobe Premiere Pro, just like Dan did, be sure to leave it in the comments down below and your question could be the next tutorial. This is the Andy Son, signing out for now, and as always, we'll see you next time. Bye guys.